Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more World of Tanks. And today I'm going to start things out in the, the Tiger 2 because I'm still getting used to some of the changes from the 8.8 patch. And yes, my mods are not currently installed. I will get to that eventually. I just haven't had the time to install them. So no fear. I still plan on using them as they are quite helpful. However, taking a look at this split, not exactly fantastical, but I'm going to push up. Tearing isn't too bad. We'll have to see how this goes. So, top engine removed. Some armor removed from the lower glacis, but much more improved on the upper Machine gun port is no longer a weak spot, and Commander Coppola also a lot stronger. So, interesting. Although, I will say that if you get hit in that lower plate, the chance to have your engine knocked out or to catch fire has greatly improved. Or increased, I should say. I don't want to use the word improved when it comes to getting set on fire. But, well, if anything, you have to play it like pretty much every other German tank now. And my positioning's not good here. I'm not a fan of what I have set up. So I'm going to uh, fire and back off. Panther 2. T-29. Uh, the problem is, see, I could go for a side scrape on this rock. But it's too much of a pinch because the side scrape might be effective on the T-29, but then not so much on the other vehicle sighted. Uh, things do not appear to be going well on the other flank. Me and this IS-6 are kind of holding out here. We've got a Sent-1, who's probably going to be flanked. I don't know if I can help out with that. Can I see him from here? Even if I can, I don't know about my gun depression. No, he's behind that rock, I believe. All right, he's down. There's that side scrape. Successful on the IS-6, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get through him easily, so I am going to switch to premium rounds on the next shot. Tough angles that he's giving me to fire at, though. It's just me and this IS-6 now. This is not good. They haven't given us much to play with. Those angles on that IS-6 are just absolutely terrible to fire at. At most, I could track him from here. Probably just going to get flanked at this point. They've got the numbers up front. Another one bites the dust. Just me and this patient IS-6 over here just chilling. Don't want him to hit my lower plate. That was a good shot. I just don't think anybody else has eyes on him. Ah, 
Uh, I think that hit the rock in front. Getting hit from the right now. By what? I'm not so sure. Pushing up. That'll provide cover. Well, uh, let's see. We're going to get smashed on that right flank. They're going to own that hill, which means that's what's firing. You can see where I got hit there, so... Interesting. I mean, we've kind of caught up here. I wonder if we can uh, see what we're dealing with. I have six. Where are the other vehicles? Ah, uh, there they are. Angle it. Angle it. Not really a good target to shoot at there. Armor is mostly doing its job here. Worried about things that we have to deal with on the six. Uh, let's see. Whoops, almost put myself out in front of that IS-6. I was trying to look at targets on the right. Ow. Wow, that hurt. <laughs> Good shot artillery on that one, but holy smokes. What did that guy hit me with? An ion cannon? Unless I got double hit. Can I get a shot on this guy? Try to get the rear of the turret, but I, I'm not sure if there's a rock in front of him or something. Oh, uh, yep, there is. There we go. One, two, punch. They still have artillery, though. Uh, that IS-6. Alright, so. Next rock. Tiger, angle it. Let him miss. Hoping he would have missed that. That went in through an angle, which is interesting. Only a panther too, though, so not a huge deal. Or I'm just trying to give him my angle to spot. Uh, panther two is down. Now they have a Yag Panther spotted on the right. The only thing I have to worry about is artillery. I have six. Let's roll. I'm taking the left side in hopes of uh, covering me from artillery. Tiger down, but we're probably spotted. Take some time to hide a little bit. Hopefully I don't get killed by splash damage. I don't know what that IS-6 is up to. All right. Holy smokes. Wow, he tried to guess. That's why I hid there for a little bit, but I could have driven on as well. Well, he tried to see me. Go for that push. I don't know what the IS-6 is up to. But. Shouldn't need him. That was close, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were going to lose that one. But just maintaining composure. Being patient. Relaxing. You know, not freaking out. Don't panic. 
we held that line against uh, some rough odds and uh, it worked out. So that's a times three for this weekend. Coming up, uh, 4,305. We had some other people here doing their job. Good job uh, on artillery. Good support there because that IS-6 was actually my biggest threat and he took him out. But uh, we were able to spot. The armor did its job. Oh, we didn't really make any profit on that. but So obviously we've lost our top engine. Not only on this vehicle but a few other German tanks. Uh, I believe we're going down from 120 millimeters to 100 on the lower glacis. Uh, I have had my engine knocked out several times now and caught fire a few times as well. So again, playing pretty much like a lot of the other German tanks, more so than before. Now in general, in any tank, you're going to want to cover that lower plate up. It's always a weak spot, but even more so now. However... I'm sure most everybody's already aware of these things. It's just that I didn't really get to hang out on the test server that much, but I'm going to cover it for those of you that might not. This machine gun port is no longer a weak spot. If you look at the, the models uh, on various websites that show you what is considered uh, a weak spot, things that show you armor thicknesses and whatnot, this has been removed as a weakness. I've been shot here directly. It does nothing. It just acts like the rest of this uh, upper plate. So... Uh, that's kind of interesting. Although it makes me wonder if they're going to do that for this, why won't they do it for, for other vehicles? Although you can see that this is just like such a big bulb here that it might be even uh, thicker or harder to penetrate in some cases. But So no weak spots on the top now, which means if you can hide this, uh, you'll be able to bounce quite a bit off of this plate. Uh, the Commander Coppola is no longer a weak spot either, although it can still be hit. It's just uh, a lot thicker here. And there might be some changes up here. Uh, I know they did something with the gun mantlet as well, but uh, I'm not 100%. I don't know if this has increased thickness. That was one thing I wasn't too sure about. Um, but I would say that with this tank, you're really going to rely on a lot of the side scraping tactics and, and hull angling. So if, if you're behind a rock like we were in that case, we were against the IS-6, we were to angle like this. His shots would just bounce off of that nicely. And there was a couple of times where we side scraped and his shot would come in and just bounce off of that, you know, off the, off the steep angle that we were able to create. So, you know, I, am I disappointed with the engine loss? Eh, not really. The Tiger II isn't really a fast, or wasn't a fast tank. I mean, it, it was just a beast. Uh, in fact, most of the Tigers and German tanks in general weren't known for their speed, which is why they had to invent the overlapping road wheel system because they needed to support the weight, and that was really the only way they could pull it off. Um, so that's why you had that, which, of course, also led to other issues. Uh, these would jam up, and if it was snow or whatever debris it would get stuck in there, it would just be a huge mess. That's why the, the maintenance nightmares existed with these things. But... Anyway, um, you know, yeah, I, I think the Tiger II needed to be a more heavily armored tank and, and probably less mobile. So if, if it's going to get the armor, if this isn't a weak spot anymore, then, you know, it could have some potential. It's just I feel more paranoid about this. Watching out for that lower glacis is uh, kind of rough. So, you know what, let's uh, go ahead and do another one with the Tiger II. Let's see, and uh, number three in the tiering here, not so bad. Of course, this is a tank that, that does see uh, Tier 10 battles, and uh, even with that said, you can pose a threat. Uh, I almost feel like I need to bring in more premium ammunition for it sometimes, just to maintain that firepower edge. Because uh, you, you can still scare away higher tier tanks with this thing, uh, and now with, with the armor, as long as you're hiding it, looking for places in the map that are going to give you an advantage, then there is room for success. 
All right, so we've already started up here, and uh, I actually haven't had a chance to play this map with the uh, the flag in the middle yet. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, bad shooting, side strafe. Good job on that. That's what happens when it's only your second game of the day. All right, well, we're just going to take out all those scouts, I guess. Uh, they do have a Hummel. We might be in an artillery position. We need to watch out for that. Got a big push going on over here, so this should be interesting. They've already got somebody at the flag, and nobody on our team really taking the other flank, which is a little scary. So we have to get used to how this is going to work. Obviously, we're all just meeting here real quick. Um... The Tiger P wants to go back. Well, make up your mind, Haas. Because I'm thinking that that might be a good idea as well. I'd like to go across. Maybe I can use a couple people as meat shields. We got to get to the flag. Looks like we're stopping it. I know I'm showing off my weak spot. But I want to get in there. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm not going to do that thing where I think somebody else is going to take care of the problem. Stuart, you're not going to come back that way. That would just be silly. That's kind of in my way. Wow, I don't know how that didn't at least track him, but... Into the Tiger. I don't have a good angle going on here. Some side scrapage, perhaps, but we need to get the tanks that are in charge of the capture. Oh, we're pressing in here. Thank goodness this Tiger P decided to go over here as well. Alright. Set up for side scrape. On the VK? I can't tell where he's at. There you are. Oh, this Tiger P is kind of in my way. Good one into the top there. He's backing off as we charge in. We're taking the team. All right. Well, pretty good wipe by our team there. Uh, we could perhaps finish these guys off, but we're already in the cap, so it's like, whatever. Three targets already been sighted in the back. Interesting area to fight over. Obviously it can uh, become a bottleneck. Two sighted. Oh, they're still trying to fight it out. But we're just going to take the cap. I'm not going to go chasing after anyone. <laughs> not at this point. All right, so not a crazy victory, but uh, a good example of why it's not a bad idea to go back to base. Now, sure, I think a lot of our teammates probably could have handled that or, or would have, but... You have to be careful because it's common to think, eh, you know, I'm kind of far away from that. I'm dealing with these things over here. I'm just going to let the rest of the team go handle the cap. Before you know it, the flag's at 90% and you've lost. And it's like, oh, I guess I should have gone back on that one. So, yeah, good job to the team on that. Okay. 
final one with the tiger two for today. I have to say, I, I'm i enjoying uh, the improved armor of this vehicle. I, I, I feel that that's what it's supposed to have. I mean, when you think about the Tiger too, you see the thing, you're like, oh, the armor, the armor, the armor. I mean, that's that's what its reputation was. So I'm not really going to complain about losing a top engine. In fact, I just, I'm not even really feeling it that much because if you think about my play style, it's find a good position, get hauled down, hold the line, uh, you know, move from cover to cover. I don't, I don't think about acceleration or speed too much with this vehicle. So uh, I'd rather, I'll take the armor. The downside is, of course, just trying to cover that lower glacis a bit more than before. Although, you know, it was a weak spot even before. It just seems now that you just have to be a little bit more extra careful. And there's the Super Pershing. I'm sure you're all wondering what I have to say about that. And currently I don't because, unfortunately, again, uh, like I said, I didn't have access to the, te uh, to the test server. Uh, until very very late and I didn't really get a chance to to play with it uh, I still own it uh, something tells me I'm gonna regret owning it but we'll see I mean you have to think about it from a developer standpoint if you're gonna put something in the game that costs money it has to be good in some respects otherwise who's gonna buy it I mean so We'll have to take a look at it and, and give you a real unbiased uh, opinion. But from what I'm hearing and seeing, changes don't look good. Uh, I don't think that the, uh, the tank has been properly awarded statistics. I think that the main gun needs to be buffed at least. I mean, that's what it was known for when those Pershings came out. They they had guns that could finally teach the Germans a lesson, and you're just not seeing it. So anyway, focusing on this battle, we've got a Hellcat crossing midfield. I'm not going to push all the way up to that point yet, because sometimes it's a death trap. Hellcat's looking like he wants to flank. Clearly a bad idea, although he has scouted us out. Tiger left. Poor gun depression here. Yeah, see I'm having the whew, armor doing its job, but just barely. I almost got hit in the lower places, so we don't want to come over that hill. They have a GW Panther for artillery. Contacts north. Once again, getting lucky with a good tiering here. But I'd like there to be a little bit more scouting to see what we're dealing with. Uh, city actually appears to be pretty clean. So I think I'm going to start pressing into it a bit more. This is a Centurion Mark I. Contacts to the front. Uh, none of which I think are focused on us. Uh, see, that part of the Centurion we don't want to aim for, really. Super Pershing's hitting our VK. Holy smokes. Well, he knew where to aim. No eyes on this target. That Centurion just flat out disappeared. Activated his cloaking device. Angle that armor. It's 
not looking at me, I don't think. Let's see if we can reload in time. He's down. Looks like we're wiping him out here as well. Not sure that might have went through the spaced armor on the turret. Well. I'm just gonna, I don't really have uh, good engagement range here. I can't really see his weaknesses, so. Oh, he's still taking a beating from me. That was with a premium shot. I'm going to have to move in closer to see a good point to aim at. Doesn't mean you should still aim for his spaced armor. He's done. Looks like one of them contact north. GW Panther, soon to be eliminated. Contact left. Somebody's about to get that final shot, and it's not me. All right. The T20 was last spotted up north. He took three people with him. I'm definitely missing my mods. I got to reinstall them ASAP. That's one of those times where you should just fire even though your aiming circle hasn't closed. You should just go for it because somebody else is going to take him out. Maybe you get lucky. So another fantastic engagement there. Uh, any battle where I can walk away without taking any damage but, you know, taking people out. Good engagement. Indeed, I'll take that. No problems. Make some money. So, uh, that has been kind of my look at the uh, quote-unquote rebalanced Tiger II. I don't have any issues with the changes. I would prefer that this thing is more about armor than, than uh, acceleration. Uh, so, I'm cool with that. Uh, you know, this being removed as a weak spot, that's, that's actually worth more than you can possibly imagine. Because for as long as this thing has existed, everybody just fires at that. And that's just no problem. Or they'll fire at the Coppola. So, really... Uh, to me, it's an improvement. Uh, again, just treat this like every other German uh, lower plate, and you know you'll be good to go. Use it to side scrape, and uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty lethal tank. Uh, I'd say I I think it's probably more along the lines of what it should be. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining me. I will definitely see you on the next one.